All right, so we're going to do a very quick flyby pixel streaming in 5.4. You can use the third person template. Now, this used to be pretty complicated. It is now much simpler, thanks to the fine folks at TensorWorks over in Aussie land. All you really need to do to get pixel streaming set up and activated streaming is enable that one plugin, pixel streaming, and you'll restart your game. And then when it opens back up, you're pretty much ready to start streaming Unreal Engine locally on your network, unless you've got some crazy firewalls up. So you see, we got a pixel streaming drop down here and I could literally just go and say stream level editor or stream full editor, whatever I want. Let's start with stream full editor. Stream full editor, I hit stop streaming to get out of there. And now if I were to uh, open up local host, I'll actually be in full pixel streaming mode. So on my local computer here, I would do this as local host for something else like on my phone, like right over here, I would use my local IP address, which I know is 10.0.0.5. And if you're not sure what your local IP address is, fortunately, it tells you right here in the drop down for pixel streaming. And so now I like the example of doing it from my phone, whoops, to keep it easy um, and to show it on a different network, I can click to start. And now congrats, I am controlling the Unreal Engine editor with my fingers, uh, which isn't something I ever expected. I never expected a touch screen version of Unreal Engine. But alas, here we are. Uh, this is great for doing a quick showcase with someone doing a screen share, getting remote support, uh, doing a quick test. You know, it's an easy way to just share exactly what you're doing in Unreal Engine. And obviously, we're just looking at it on a local device right now. Um, but there's a lot of other ways we can expand from here. Let's say, first of all, that you wanted to show just the game. You've got a big demo coming up. Maybe you're going to showcase some stuff, I don't know, tomorrow at a little game showcase. And uh, you don't have time to package the actual project, but you want to show something cleanly um, just in window and let other people try because it's a multiplayer game or whatever. Uh, an easy thing you can do is we can say stop streaming. And now we can stream just the level editor, which is now only going to stream the inside of this window. So if I do a refresh in my browser, you'll see now I can't see the rest of Unreal. I can only see what's in here, right? So that's kind of cool. Um, now let's take it a step further. What if I wanted this all to work remotely over a network? What if I wanted to be able to give anyone my IP address and let them do exactly what I'm doing. Well, there's a couple extra steps. Let's do the uh, editor only version. And that involves me finding uh, where the pixel streaming folder lives. This is 5.4, here we go. So here's 5.4, 5.4 engine, plugins, media, pixel streaming. And this works when packaged too. And I'd go to resources and web servers and I would do the get PS servers batch file, which would populate all this. And then I go to signaling web servers, platform scripts, command, and I just run a fun little thing called start with turn signaling server, which in 5.1 is now just, a, or in 5.5 is a very simple batch file. And I can just say, oh, run with PowerShell, run with PowerShell. And then this will now get this up and running. So anyone can use my IP address and connect to my Unreal Engine session, as long as I have port 80 open, which does often need to be opened by a uh, IP, ISP, internet service provider. 